In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to create a motion tile transition. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and always good to be making tutorials. So this transition can probably be used for a number of things. I think for the most part this can be used for uh, like a slideshow or like a demo reel. And this is a very quick tutorial today and it's very easy to do so. So if we take a look at my timeline here, I have two clips in here. I have clip one and I have clip two. They're obviously compositions, but they're really just regular video clips. So don't worry, you don't have to pre-compose anything. I just have it set up that way. But let's go ahead and talk about actually doing this effect. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to like the last second of the first clip before it ends here. And we're gonna go make sure the adjustment layer is selected and go to effect, stylize, and we're gonna add the motion tile effect. And then we're also gonna grab the rectangle tool and we'll zoom out here and we're gonna just like grab like a nice chunk of you know footage here. And also keep in mind, you don't have to do it in this format. You can do like vertical cuts or any other sort of custom mask that you wanna do, but I'm just doing it this way just because it's the way that I wanted to do it. So just keep that in mind. And the first thing we're gonna do with the motion tile effect here is add a keyframe for tile center. And we'll go forward in time by a little bit, maybe go over like a, almost a second or a half a second over the second clip here. And we'll go to the motion tile and we will change the X value for motion or for tile center here. And we'll just go ahead and, you know, move over the X tile until uh, it's gonna go ahead and match up the first swipe here, which is about uh, 2880. And of course, this is gonna just depend on the frame size of the clip you're using. But if we take a look here, we now have this very simple animation where it's gonna go ahead and do this nice, you know, transition here. And I think that looks really nice. And we can come here and rename this to uh, top tile. And then once we're done here, we can go ahead and make sure the adjustment layer is selected and go up to edit, duplicate. And we can go hit M on our keyboard to bring up the mask. And let's go here and bring the mask all the way down to the bottom here. And like I said, it depends where you wanna position these things. I'm just gonna go with this format. Let's go ahead and rename this uh, layer to bottom tile. And awesome, let's hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. Go to the first keyframe for our bottom tile. Go ahead and just delete the last keyframe there and just reset everything, it looks good. Okay, then let's go to the same point in time over our second clip here and just go ahead and uh, move the uh, X position down into more of the left side here. So it should be more matched up at like nine, negative 960. And usually these values will be rounded to a whole number. Like, you know, uh, there usually be a zero in the ones place. So just keep that in mind. You're just gonna have to experiment with this and get very close. It's really easy to do, but you know, there it is. So now we have two transitions in here. Okay, so now we just go ahead and do the big middle one here. And let's go ahead and just duplicate our bottom tile here and just kind of reset the uh, motion tile. And let's hit M on our keyboard to bring up the mask. And let's come here and you know, reposition everything. Let's see, go to like the middle here so we can see what we're doing. And what we want to do with this one is uh, match up the cuts with the new mask here. So go ahead and select the two top vertices and kind of match, match that up as best as you can and grab the two bottom vertices and match that up as best as you can with your cuts. And then we have this. And now all we have to do is go back and animate the motion tile. So we have our original keyframe there. Go to the last keyframe and let's affect the Y position. So maybe we'll have this one going up and we'll go ahead and just mash this up with our original clip and it'll probably be like a negative, you know, 540. Now we kind of have this nice, you know, seamless transition going throughout here and it looks really nice. And the last thing that we want to do is turn on motion blur. So it all blends together and looks very nice. So let's go ahead and just bring up all the keyframes here and let's hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease keyframes. So it's not linear and it will look nice. So if you are following along with this video, this is something you should have gotten. Let's get to like right here. And you should have gotten a nice transition just like that and it should look nice. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you guys did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.